Today I'm breaking down five high paying jobs you can get without a degree and I'm gonna give you the exact tools and the exact skills that you need to get these jobs. So let's just be real. In today's world, jobs don't care if you have a degree. Jobs don't care if you have experience. Jobs don't care what you say. They care about what you can do. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I want to make sure that you have the right path. So in this video, I'm going to give you a couple of different paths that you can take. And then at the end of the video, you can figure out which path is best for you. Let's get straight into it. The first job I want to cover is a cloud engineer. Cloud isn't a trend. Cloud isn't just some type of catchy word to say. Cloud is the present and the future. Anything, anything in cloud engineering is going to make you future proof, make you be able to get through recessions, make you be able to get through hard times and ensure that you're always in super high demand. Right now, the average salary for a cloud engineer is almost $90,000. And the expected growth for cloud engineers over the next couple of years is almost 30%. So to become a cloud engineer and take advantage of cloud computing and all these opportunities, a couple skill sets that you have to have. You have to have a really good understanding of cloud architecture, basic coding, and security fundamentals. A few tools that you have to get familiar with is gonna be Azure, AWS, Terraform, and a Google Cloud Platform. To solidify these skills and get a couple certifications, whether it's AWS, whether it's Azure, CompTIA, Kyle Plus, you need a certification to actually be able to verify that you can do what you say you can do. Now, the great thing is this. If you want to work from home, if you want some remote stuff, there is so many open opportunities for cloud engineers, cloud analysts, and just people working in cloud in general. Hey, wait a minute, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Rob, a former U.S. Army staff sergeant that helps people just like you pass their first certification and get awesome tech careers. If you want my help, you can look in the link in the description and there's a bunch of different ways I can help you. If you want to pass your first cert in 10 days, I got you. If you want to pass the most popular certifications in three months, I got you. If you want all the above, plus you want my help to actually land a job, I got you. Anything that you need, I got you. So if you don't want to do this on your own, me and my entire team will help you do all of the above. Now, like I said, I just want to introduce myself really quickly. Let's get back to the list. The next one I'm talking about is network administrator or network engineering. So if you are analytical and you like the way things connect and how everything, the entire network, the entire internet is interconnected. And the good news is, on the low end, you can start off around 60K. On a high end, you can make eighty to $90,000 a year. Now, this field is planning on seeing over a 20% increase year over year in demand. The top skills you're gonna need is network configuration, troubleshooting, VPNs, and firewalls. A couple of tools that you can use to get a lot better at understanding network setup and network security would be Wireshark, for network security, packet tracer, just to see how packets and data actually move through the network, and then Active Directory to figure out how to actually set up users and devices on your network. Certifications that you can focus on in this area can be Cisco CCNA and Network Plus. Bonus tip, by mastering networking, cybersecurity jobs are gonna open up that much faster. You have to be a master at networking. Everything is interconnected to really get great cybersecurity opportunities. So number three may surprise you. It's IT support and IT specialists. Hold on, hold on. Before you turn off the video, let me explain. This is the easiest entry point. Plus, even though it's the lowest paying on this list, it's still higher than the average salary in the United States. The average salary in the United States is right around $45,000 a year. Most IT support specialists and IT support jobs start off around fifty dollars to $55,000 a year, which is an awesome place to be because in IT support, you're going to learn a little bit of everything. And it's a great stepping stone to higher paying, more complex opportunities that's going to be presented on your journey in tech. Another thing is with tech support, it's always going to be in demand. People are going to always break their phone. People are going to always uh, mess up their laptop. People are going to always not quite understand how things work, and then that'll always keep you employed. 
for, so for this, you got to have some really good interpersonal skills. You got to know how to troubleshoot and you got to be good at networking, meaning the actual network and networking with other people. Tools to learn to help you all with this will be Office 365, Active Directory and ServiceNow. So the certifications that can help you with this will be ITF Plus or A Plus. And another thing is this, many people, including my career, started right here in support. This is an awesome launch pad to go to cybersecurity, to go to artificial intelligence, to go to something else that you want to do. It's an awesome starting point. Next up is AI or automation specialist. And the crazy thing about this, you don't have to necessarily know how to code. You really just need to know how to make things work together with AI and automation being a huge thing where a lot of companies are trying to take advantage of this. Right now, this is paying a lot of money. In the future, I'm not quite so sure, but right now, right now, you can get 80, 90, six figures for being an AI or automation specialist. So why is that? Why is it such that high number? Because right now, AI is reshaping the world, literally. It has affected every part of everything, whether it's healthcare, finance, social media, AI is literally everywhere, which means there's so many opportunities for you. So the top skills I have for this would be no code, implementation, prompt engineering, and workflows. Tools to get a lot better at this would be Zapier, ChatGPT, or even MidJourney. As of right now, there are no specific certifications that will really catapult you into this industry. But if you learn the skills and you kind of practice every day, you'll get that much closer to a great opportunity. And the great thing for this and why it's a great opportunity is because demand for AI and people that are AI specialists, automation specialists, is that the demand is growing faster than people can keep up, which can be a huge win for you. Last but not least is a cybersecurity analyst. This is another awesome field to get into for money and for job security. So it's expected that cybersecurity analyst growth is going to grow up to 32% over the next 10 years with most cybersecurity analysts and engineers making close or more than six figures. Unfortunately, but fortunately for you, for opportunities, there are cyber threats all around. Things are always getting hacked. Things are always under attack, under duress, people trying to steal people's identities, all types of crazy stuff. And that is where you come in if you are a cybersecurity analyst or engineer. You help to prevent those things and then react to those things when they happen. So some awesome skills to have in this field are gonna be ethical hacking, risk analysis, and threat detection. So skills to learn for this would be basic Linux skills, Wireshark, Nessus, and any other platform, Try Hack Me, anything like that that can help you to understand what a threat looks like, how to mitigate that threat, and how to react after a attack has happened. Awesome certifications for this would be Security Plus, COSA Plus, so on and so forth. Cybersecurity is absolutely on fire right now. Good news for you, there's a really big shortage of cybersecurity professionals. So that leads a lot of opportunities for you to come in and swoop up those jobs. So it's pretty simple. If you love systems and workflows, pick AI and automation. If you love to solve mysteries and keep people safe, cybersecurity. If you're looking for the quickest way to get into IT, you would do IT support. If you love being able to work from absolutely anywhere, I will say cloud engineer or analyst. And last but not least, if you like how things work together and talk together, I would choose networking. So from that quick breakdown, that quick analysis, pick your strengths and then choose that path and go after it. Number two is research job listings. See where you wanna live, where you wanna work, and how many opportunities are there. You may want to live in a certain place where the opportunities that you want are not there. So make sure that you are careful. Look on LinkedIn, look on Monster, look on Indeed, look on Glassdoor, just to get a really good, clear picture as to where these job opportunities and these job listings are. Number three, start building your skills. Just with 30 minutes a day, just with 30 minutes a day, you can build up a skill that can literally change your and your family's life. Number four, commit to a certification or project. I'm going to pass A plus by this day. I'm going to pass security plus by this day, or I'm going to build my own threat detection system. I'm going to build my own website, whatever that is, commit to that and make sure it's accomplished in the next 30 days 
days. Last but not least, find a mentor and find a community. You can do it for free. You can do paid communities. We have a free community on Facebook. It's literally called Passing Your Tech Certs. You want to look it up. It's also in the description. You need to find people that are on the same journey as you and find people that have already done what you're trying to do. Get tutelage, get inspiration, get motivation from them, and then you can go out and win. Remember, you don't need a degree. All you need is Master IT. Other than that, I'll see you in class.